bans that we've seen recently. I do also want to highlight that Renekton that got locked in for TSM Academy. Nice little piece of the puzzle Ooh. for them as the Sejuani comes through to complete FlyQuest's puzzle. I kind of really like Sejuani here as it fits into composition so, so well. Uh, because you can work as like in the midst of the team um, as like this, this Sejuani like dislocator for things like the Alistar, things like the Nocturne as they dive in. And you throw an ultimate into the members who don't get to fly around this top lane trying to progress against Philip. Again, this is kind of the lane we expected to see because this is a brand oh new goodness. player and hyper rack around so quickly now on the dive here at the very early level of against the Diego. Monster is not going to have a lot of health here. The shot, the flash, that's already first blood. Philip going down. Exactly what we want to see from TSM. This might not be, though. Palafox expertly done. And because he didn't do that, he was just like, all right, I'll save it for later. I'll trade the kill oh, over no. to the likes of Kali. Hyper now found out. Palafox still up here. Hyper taking a lot of damage. Has the spell shield available. They've got the damage on Jose Diodo. Oh. Flash forward from Hyper. Hyper gets the kill. Now Palafox, the target. Is in the shroud, has a lot of damage himself, but can he turn it? Can he get the kill on the oh, hyper? No, you. the answer is as Palafox gets out with the you. skin of his sword, surviving yet again the pressure absorption oh. this guy has had as Hyper is outbound dreams and the sun comes through. Beautifully done, what? Hyper. No, he can't get the kill, and Hyper goes down to Palafox. Now Sword and Cody. And that flame was good to deny Cody Sun, and the oh, Highlander yeah. was able to get him out of dodge as fast as possible to the opposite side of the tower. They're, they're not out of it. They they're bringing in another sword. one. They're, you know, it doesn't work the first time. Throw some more at it as Sword Ursa, is down here. Your Sun's already dead. Johnson got the kill. Go as well. And now Dreams, maybe he can survive. Big oh, death sentence. The That's huge. Constant duress for like the last minute and a half or something. Hyper only just out coming up to oh, the top lane. No. Uh, and paranoia comes in. He's just trying to get to his teammates here, but the death sentence is going to be just that. Philip gets the kill, gets the reset. Now the glacial prison on a sword. Sword goes golden. You've got Cody Sun and your son here, but <laughs> can it be enough? No, it cannot. The reset's coming no. through yet again. And come on. I would have wanted. He, he almost certainly oh. had a chance. Okay, overwall. Is oh, your son. Your son yeah. yeah, there's no way oh, you can get out of that combo. Maybe Nothing he got away with a headbutt. No, nope. oh, they did. play? <laughs> But it means cool story, nothing. bro. Yeah. Uh, Cody's son gets aggressed on. Your son goes in to save him, but just gives up his yeah. life here, no doubt. Yeah, oh, no. Fate's call. That's beautiful. You can just push with more members. Like, they're just denying everything. If you try to aggress against the Kali, she just presses Shroud, and oh she's out of that situation. Now we think oh, the Moonlight Vigil from the distance. Now Paranoia from Hyper. He needs to find a play okay. here. He gets one, but the ADC and Cody's son is gone. Now Sword and Hyper still in the thick of it here. Johnson. Takes a shot, but that's going to be a flash play from Dreams. The root CC combo, the death sentence, just wait. Go for that kind of play right at this moment. But the pressure stays up for FlyQuest. Says, okay, <laughs> never mind. They're going to go for it because okay. he's coming in now. They've also got the Destiny Gate. Can they get any kills here? Hanser is now into the fight, but beautiful is going to be oh. that. Oh, my God, a five-man, four-man knockup. But do they follow it up? They do. Palafox. Oh, beautiful from Palafox, though. He's on the back. He's taking down Hyper. But can he get the kill? Eventually, he misses it, but kills him with the perfect execution. Now, Sword flashes the death sentence. Dreams goes down to the TF. The range of Dreams gets the kill on the backside of it. So, nice little responsive plays here from TSM Academy. But now, Hyper is caught. Hyper is just going to die as the death sentence comes in from Dreams. And Either this is... It's tough because TSM's getting run around the map if they don't find full time. Take those movements, and it's all around the strengths that come through from the solo laners, as we see here. Now, Paranoia used by Hyper. So you're going to follow it up. Oh, wait. They have actually found on the side dreams. Hey, look at that. They get dreams as the team. Right now. So you know, you don't have to look at that, all right? They canceled one back. They canceled oh, they two canceled back. all of them. They okay, canceled all of them. Yeah, they've got Sword going, but. You okay, also might actually them. find a kill up here on the Philip. He wants to go for some health regen. And Johnson's willing to just take the smoke <laughs> and a sword right wait, now. But... Wait. Okay. Oh no, FlyQuest. Oh. They've gotten baited. Hyper's here too. Palafox wants the kill, but he can't get it just yet. Maybe on the your side, can he? There. Finally, we're able to get some picks off of Paranoia. that. Paranoia. Paranoia the just came off cooldown. That's huge. That moment. This change, and especially a shutdown from Palafox. And we're 24 minutes in with a decent, about 3,000 gold lead, a little bit more for FlyQuest Academy. And they use that to feel confident enough to take the Baron. And they should feel confident to take Baron only because they're able to use this engage to turn off Baron so, so easily. They have the ability to position, maybe not turn and Twisted Fate into the right place, but well, oh, that's hyper. not going to matter. 
Shuriken, Pal Fox is there. This Akali is thick, but hey, is it go. thick enough? That's huge. Although the shutdown goes to your son. Now the fighting continues as Hanser is there. Almost takes down Jose Diodo. The paranoia, not enough. Hyper in deep. Hyper too far. Behind the Baron. He's taking a ton of damage right now. He dies. Johnson gets the kill. But now Johnson needs to be careful. Moonlight Vigil. AOE damage. You've got Philip on the backside looking for the reset. Shot away. And the Viego perform a miracle. It's not looking likely. Sir? As Johnson is now back up. You've got okay. a lot of AOE damage but Hanser able to get the kill on that one slice and dice puts him in position of power but they can't he's not able to capitalize on anything during the course of the fight as one of the most powerful members second they've got a bunch of he's back. to work with he's back in to try to find something Hanser is very powerful but I don't think he has the reasons for it yeah again objectives against these two teams but now Jose Diodo is still looking for the aggression a lot of members from TSM Academy are on the top side of the map Hanser is in uh the wrong side of Albuquerque here, apparently. He took the wrong left turn as he's going to pop Dominus. Try to get Palafog back on the trade, but you've got so much damage, so much shielding. TSM's going to give them anything except for a oh, perfect no. fight setup on their own, except Hunter. Oh, no. Yeah, he's Hunter got wanted the blue, man. Just let him get it, all right? He's hungry. He's a crocodilian. But he can actually wow. get out. Nice flash over, and there's the re-engage. Four-man face call again. The target calling for TSM Academy is clutch. As Cody Sun goes on the wall, he's got a 1v1 against Palafox. He's got Listen a double, two. but the rest do not do it. As he wants to take some more aggression, but a beautiful fight. A re-engage here, and Palafox in some trouble. He's got a lot of members on top of him. He wants to go for it. That's me. one. Can he get two? Perfect execution, not available. Doesn't have the damage follow-up. Palafox fly. Great of a colleague, because people see it, and they're like, wow, that's so cool. But he's just <laughs> insane on the character. That's why Palafox absolutely nutty. Takes off an additional kill off the back end, and uh, you know makes a, a little bit of salt in the wound as the Baron play now comes through. Your song's looking for engage. Do it. Sim Academy on the run here, wants to kind of Lights get out. into the fight. Paranoia is off. They got the re here. Hyper goes on to Jose Diodo, okay. but they've already gotten dreams now. Hyper goes golden, oh, buys a lot of time. Enemy. Huge Moonlight Vigil, and now FlyQuest are still getting wiped here. Reset out for Philip, but they've still got to be careful. Look at Johnson on the, the back. Johnson's doing work, but it's the team as a whole for TSM Academy who have found the advantage, and now they turn to Baron. <laughs> can find these targets and I don't know how in every single fight TSM's able to turn it first off Hyper shutting off the lights diving into backline cutting off dreams from this team allowing them to get a pick and then stalling with Zonius is what buys so much time I don't even know where Palafox went down as minions flood into the base but no one's there to push it so it should just be free Baron and Cody Sun lives forever and in the dips and the dives mixed in with this composition is huge oh. as I speak about it I cast a curse him because he gets glacial, glacial prison now Hyper in some trouble Moonlight Vigil comes down Pop Palfox? hysterics, but you got Alphox going in all by his oh, lonesome. Palfox is dead. Cody's son is unstoppable now. You've also got resets coming through. Big deal, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. It's a lot of move speed to set up a lot of these plays that have come through, but it's not something to break your back over here from yeah. the side of FlyQuest. And I'm comfortable with the fact that they realize... Out and they want to look for it here, actually. Paranoia is going to be popped there. They go in on the Palafox. They really want to take this fight. They got to be really careful as they do, though, because the re-engage is ready to go. Oh, that sentence connects on a Hauntzer. Big oh, damage on the back from Yurisa, though, is on the back line. But Hyper is getting low. Big Moonlight Vigil. Uh, is Fox, it going to be enough to change it? Palafox has gotten the back line. Don't but Valley Quest are wiped. Palafox is able to Don't get another. Done. That's a triple for Cody's son. Your son gets taken down oh. for a triple for Palafox. But he's gonna be dragged down hot. No. They're gonna give time for Jose Dio to get back. And now also, if they push out the top side, they're they so can walk to Elder. This is terrible. Okay, we're, we're getting way too much here. And we see action all across this. Thing comes through. Hotzer into the back line finds quite a bit. Cody Sun still kiting, able to find a play into the back line of everything that comes through. Hotzer getting oh. bounced around a little bit. He's still in the front oh. line as well. And it's Cody Sun able to clean up on the front. In this game, but the rest of TSM Academy have shown so much to me in this second game. We knew that they were good. We knew that they could take games like this, that they could take those late game bangers, the veterancy, the everything tying in as a whole package. PSM Academy.